All right, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about the zone uh, having a significant chance of losing several of their fighters over there uh, because Golden Boy's contract is up at the end of the year and they are looking to potentially move on to Triller. Let's talk about the end of the American take of the zone's American takeover in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the subject matter of the video though, please make sure to, if you're not subscribed to the video, uh, to the channel, please subscribe and also share the video, like the video, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, I kind of enjoy this um, in, a, in, a, in a bad type of way, but DAZN uh, may very well be losing Golden Boy promotions from their roster of fighters where they show, you know, the fighters that they show on the zone. Now, the reason for that is, is because the contract between the two is coming up for an end and they're in the process of negotiating with Triller and other, uh, other entities to move the entire, the entire stable of fighters off of the zone and onto a, onto a new one. Now, this, if this takes place, this will ha this has to be considered, if it wasn't already considered, the death of their attempt to take over American boxing. DAZN is essentially, a, and I've been saying this for a while, DAZN is essentially a UK boxing network that sells, um, sells subscriptions to American fighters. So you get to see a bunch, I mean, because that's the only thing that has been very consistent about DAZN is that they show a lot of UK fighters. And we knew when they said that they were going to come over, not just myself, but a lot of people, a lot of people in the LDBC said this before when it came out that, you know, Eddie Hearn came and announced this two billion, this billion dollars that he had gotten from, you know, got into the zone to go and sign American fighters and how they were going to take over American boxing, how pay-per-view was going to go away in American boxing, and all the stuff that they were going to do. Now, I have to admit that to bring in a billion dollars and to not manage to get very many significant fighters is an accomplishment in and of itself. And now, there, I know that there's been a lot of countervailing, you know, things that have taken, uh, uh, counteracting occurrences that have taken place to prevent them like for example from taking over american boxing like the zone like like fox coming up with just as much money for the pbc and the fox and showtime both working with this pbc and the loyalty that al Heyman had with the with the american fighters that fight for him the most coveted american fighters the errol spence juniors the, the well, they were really going for Adrian Bronner. I know Mikey Garcia fought over there, but Mikey Garcia still remains very open to fight in either place. So, you know, there's a lot of different things that pre were preventing this takeover from this transatlantic take takeover from occurring. Um, but the major majority of it is pretty much just the bad behavior of Eddie Hearn and his inability to negotiate with people straight up and and not try to wear down and insult everybody that is around him because that created this real bad firestorm media firestorm on the zone and and not the ones from the mainstream media but the media the boxing media of hardcore fans were very 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 much against um the zone so now they find themselves in a situation where what they one of the their main players is now actively looking to leave leave um leave the zone and that is golden boy now i know that that they the contract is not up until the end of the year so they have time to negotiate and see what they can do however you have to assume that there's been a very very big riff between them with the break with between the break of Canelo Alvarez and and uh, and Golden Boy, where now Eddie Hearn is has been involved in negotiating deals for Canelo Alvarez, and Canelo Alvarez is still with the zone, but Golden Boy 
is no longer with Canelo Alvarez. That would seem to me to be a little bit of a, you know, er a little irksome for Golden Boy. Now, when I got this report about the contract running out, it was from uh, Mike Coppinger, and Mike Coppinger said that, that he was told that a pack between Triller was being explored for the entire stable to go over to Triller. Now, one thing that you know about Triller is that Triller is is going to offer a lot of money for these fights because they've been paying premium dollar. And the, specifically, the big the people that they're talking about are Ryan Garcia, Jaime Munguia, Virgil Ortiz, and, uh, and Zerto Ramirez, who are three. Now, Zerto Ramirez is a little bit older, you know, a little bit further along, but the prize in this thing is, is probably Ryan Garcia and Virgil Ortiz because those are two of the best young fighters. Um, the Ryan Garcia is one of the best young fighters at 135, and he's kind of got that golden boy, you know, that golden boy look to him. And then Virgil Ortiz, who was just a very, very solid fighter, real rough and tumble fight, Mexican fighter out of, out of the state of Texas, right, at, in a real premier weight class of 147, and he might actually go up to 154 and 160. Those are guys that you can really build and I do believe are the best guys in the stable of Golden Boy. And to lose those guys, that just would, how much do you, how much does Golden Boy really, I mean, how much does the zone really have left of American fighters? They're not current, they have Devin Haney. And I, my understanding is that De Devin Haney may be a free agent or f coming a free agent soon. You had, but you haven't seen him fight in a while, Tevin Farmer. You have, um, I mean, who else does the zone really have over there? They got Gennady Golovkin over there. They've got Demetrius Andrade over there. And Demetrius Andrade should probably be looking to get out of that contract that he's got over there and try to get over there with um, trying to get over there with the PBC. I think that would be most logical for him. But all in all, it just really looks like Eddie Hearn has not really gotten the the job done. And the relations between the between the promoters and the zone aren't necessarily the best. But and Triller, with Triller trying to to counteract or trying to compete with the zone, you know that they're gonna drive the prices really far up on the zone. Now, the other side of it though is that the there's other suitors for that. And what I would love to see, even though I know that it is not particularly likely, is I would like to see uh golden boy move to showtime or have them move over to fox and showtime the combination of the two and work along with the pbc because there's a lot of fights that can be made for ryan garcia at 100 you know at 135 140 pounds um and virgil ortiz definitely a lot of fights that he can make in the 147 pound division and the 154 pound division and with Canelo Alvarez doing a looking like he's doing a one at this point in time looks like a one fight deal for Kayla Plant, you could which could grow into a multi fight deal, especially if the pay per views do well because the because Fox is into pay per view and the zone isn't that that really could be a great place for those guys to go and I and I hope to see him because I like those I like um, with the exception of Jaime Munguia I think Jaime Munguia got moved a little fast at the early portion of his career but ryan garcia and virgil ortiz i think those guys are excellent excellent fighters anyway that's my take on the matter you let me know what you think and with that i'm out peace